So this is the uh, BioLoid uh, Type K. K stands for Condo because this design is based on Condo. Um, so I have basically painted uh, the front with blue with a spray paint, which is this. And the head was this. Yep. And also painted the side of the head with a bit of us uh, of uh, gray here. So my first time paint job, so it's pretty good for what it is. I've also got some carbon sticker on here, so it's a bit thick, and I just stuck it on there. So it's pretty nice. So before there was um, a servo here that allows it to turn the, the waist, but the reason why I've taken it off is because uh, um, it will make the, the legs too wide and it looks a bit ugly. And second of all, uh, when you walk forward, I, I find that the more closer the feet are, the easier it is to walk. Okay, so also I have put in two batteries to the foot, 15C and three cells. Uh, it is linked in parallel to the power source. So it's put on the foot, so the center of gravity is low, so it's good for fighting. And I've also got this claw here, uh, which is a lot, which basically is, um, let me show you what, what it is. So um, it would be effective, the hooks here would basically sink into the opponents here, or here and then try to grab it down and then you also have things like that okay so I'll show you a bit of walking so it's pretty fast what it is and the backward is also okay and the side is uh, I need to work on it a little bit if it move higher it can now uh, walk faster as well but for now, since I'm not in the competition, so I worry about that later. I've got some servos coming and I'll be building a new robot. Uh, but I will replace this one and that one and the, and or this two and that one with the AX18 and see if I can make it walk faster. Well, this one, it, uh, as I understand, should be the strongest servo of the robot because um, basically the one that breaks are usually these, these two because if you walk like this, it exerts a lot of forces on it, okay? And I also put in the AX18 on here because uh, for walking, I think you, you need that to be very fast. Okay, so uh, what happens is when you try to make it go faster, when you reach the limit where the, the speed of the servo, uh, you know, reach the limit, basically, uh, for example, if you pendulum like that, you try to make it go faster like that. Um, before you get to here, it already returns. So it basically will go like this and that. So it doesn't move at all. So if you've got a quick servo, it can do all the way back. So that's what the X18 hopefully will do. And due to budget, only I will only try to replace these four for now and see if I can get away with not doing these two. Okay, so... Um, so here's a bit of paint job here, see if, I don't know if you can see, in here as well. Okay, and lastly, um, as you notice the big foot, um, this will be uh, in regulation because since I extended the height of the robot that much, I can basically increase the width and the, the length by that much, okay? As it, it, in the rule is like 35% of the height from here to the Foot and so on, and uh, so I can also replace the with the Vico. So if I am in like football match or in a demonstration where I need a bigger foot or I need some sort of other foot, I can easily replace them. So you know this is what it is. And also if for some gr for some ground maybe I want to shift it back or forth a little bit. So if if it's like tilting forward, I can just shift it forward and vice versa. Okay, so thank you for watching and just uh, show you what I'm doing with uh, my three-point lighting here. One iPhone light, another one.
Okay, thank you. Bye bye.